We have every single one of the iconic pink diamonds, meaning we can lock in for the guaranteed iconic galaxy opal pack. It costs a lot of MT to do this, which is why we have like none. But it means we can pull players such as Brandon Ingram, DeMarcus Cousins, Penny Hardaway, and Wilt Chamberlain. Oh wait, there's also Jason Kidd and Clay Thompson too. So these galaxy opals look crazy, but yeah, locking in this collection is quite expensive. So I could quick sell every single one of these cards for about 50k each. And if I was to buy every single one of these cards, it would cost about 700,000 MT. But before we lock this collection in, I've actually been grinding off camera for a few packs, like in the spotlight challenges, also doing the exchanges. So first of all, we have a base pack, not very exciting, but we do have normal packs and also a deluxe pack. Now it's time for the normal iconic packs. I got this one through the spotlight challenges and let's see if we can get a shake. Unfortunately, no shake, just a ruby. Yeah, that's not what we want to see. And we've got one more of the normal packs until our guaranteed pink diamond or higher pack. So this one right here, again, no shake, that sucks. But now it's time for our iconic deluxe pack. I got this one by completing all these challenges right here in the season agendas for the iconic set. And that's how you're able to obtain the pack. And yes, because it's a deluxe pack, it guarantees a player from the collection, which means that it has to be a pink diamond or higher. So when we see the shake, we want it to be a galaxy opal. So there's our shake to the left. Let's hope for a galaxy opal in this pack right here. And bam! It's only a pink diamond, but still, I can't complain with that because this was absolutely free. So let's flip it and see which player it's going to be. Center, that means it's going to be, um, wait, oh, Hassan Whiteside. It's Hassan Whiteside, which isn't bad at all. I'll take it. Hassan Whiteside, welcome to the team. Because now in good news, all I can do is just swap these two around. Literally, I'll just go like this, quick sell this one for 50K. We made 48,000 MT from that. But now I think it's time that we've got our unsellable Hassan Whiteside to lock in this collection. Now you can see for the Galaxy, the Opals, I actually have three of them. We have this DeMarcus Cousins, so I do not want to pull him. We have Jason Kidd. Again, I do not want to pull him. And finally, we were lucky enough to get Penny Hardaway, and I do not want him either. I really badly want this Will Chamberlain. He's the one I want the most, but then also I badly want this Clay Thompson. So they're the players that we're locking this set in for, and they're the ones I'd be happy with. I'm hoping for no duplicate, but this is about 700,000 MT. So let's lock it in and do it once again for the guaranteed Galaxy Opal pack. Man, I'm kind of nervous to open this up. This is nervous. Angus right here, but I feel like we can give it a shot and we're hoping for that Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt would be insane. Just please no duplicate, please no duplicate. Before I do this though, be sure to smash that like button as your guys like always gives me luck. Anyway, it's time, it's time to flip it. It's time to flip it and see which player it's gonna be. Let's get the Galaxy Opal animation, which we love to see. Bam, just like that, we get the Galaxy Opal. Do I have to say it again? Just please no duplicate. We've actually got a better chance of getting a duplicate than we do a new player, which is quite bad, but hopefully we can get one. Anyway, I'm gonna need a base drop because it's now time. It's now time we flip this Galaxy Opal and see which player it's gonna be. Wilt Chamberlain, that's who we're going for. Let's flip it this time and see Wilt the Stilt center small forward. Is this Brandon Ingram? Hey, all right, not complaining. It was a player I didn't really want, but I'm not gonna lie, he actually will go into the team, which is a W. Like, I, I don't know, I haven't heard anyone talk about this card, but I feel like a backup shooting guard is gonna be really nice. So I'm actually really happy with that. Brandon Ingram, welcome to the squad, and at least you're not a duplicate. Because looking at the team right now, obviously it looks insane, but yeah, I think it's time to take out Paul George. And it's time to replace him with Brandon Ingram. Let's check out this card's stats. Obviously now he's unauctionable. He's six foot eight and can obviously do absolutely everything. 95 driving down, 94 ball handling. He's also got great defense, good athleticism, and then what, 26 Hall of Fame badges. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with getting this card. The only issue is, what is his release? Oh, what? Yo, why have I not heard anything about this card? His release is actually cash as well, and obviously he's gonna be a beast. So you know what? I think it's only right we go and try out this card for this game too. I'm gonna take out Lonzo, and we're gonna put Jason Kidd in as well. So we've now got four of the iconic Galaxy Opals in our team. We've got Penny Hardaway at the starting point guard. Then we've got Demarcus Cousins at the power four. Forward. Then off the bench, we've got Jason Kidd and Brandon Ingram. Then the rest of the team just looks absolutely crazy. And hey, it is the start of a new championship weekend. So I'm hoping all these iconic players can play extremely well for us. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the game. Okay, my opponent has a very good team, but I just want to see what these new iconic players can do for us. That's really what we're looking for. Like Penny Hardaway, also even Jason Kidd. I want to see if 
like that card's good, but Penny, you're the one I was most excited to pull. And also Brandon Ingram, actually. So let's see if we can... Oh, well, I just kind of left him wide open. There's DeMarcus Cousins there. We get out to the corner. That's still a good shot in the end. Oh, yeah, and I have to apologize as well. I haven't been playing much 2K recently, so we'll see how we go in this game. And when I don't play for a while, I start playing so badly. So hopefully that's not the case this time as I don't know what's going on here. We need to just score on this card. We need to kick it out to DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus for the midi. You guys might be able to tell with the scoreboard that I'm not playing great right now. It's currently 10 to 4, but Penny Hardaway will get the slam to make it 10 to 6. Finally, we get our first stop. Boogie this time. Let's drive past him and let's use his speed. And the thing about Penny Hardaway is I actually loved his diamond card, so I can see me loving his Galaxy Opal. I want to be able to shoot a three with this DeMarcus Cousins, and that was it right there. That was absolutely it, but we are going to get... Yeah, kid. Yeah. <sighs> You're kidding. I wanted that slam. What? Thought that was just going to be an easy dunk for him. An absolute easy dunk. But it turned out to be a difficult dunk. And now we've got DeMarcus Cousins going down this time. Kicking it back out. That's still good defense by my opponent. And we need a score on this possession or else we're in a bit of trouble. DeMarcus Cousins this time for the three ball. Let's go. I will say I used to use what? Who even was he? Um, Carl Anthony Towns over the boogie. But what I can tell you is DeMarcus Cousins is a lot better. Like a lot, a lot better. And right now we're up in this game. And obviously we still have this one overall Kareem, which is just so OP. And let's give it out to Penny this time. Yeah, that's actually good defense, but DeMarcus Cousins, he'll make something happen out of nothing when we kick it back out on a terrible play. Now we need our boy Kobe Bryant to make a wide open three from us in the corner, and he got it. We've got three seconds here. Penny, can he get it up for me? Okay, we got rejected. We're up by one. Penny with six points, four assists. I'm not mad with that. I'm not... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I definitely didn't want to take that. But what a pass out and what a bailout pass it was. Um, let's give it back out to the card now. Then let's get a pick and fade with our boy Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The 100 overall Kareem. Let's make the three as well. There we go. We get another steal. Okay, I'm looking at Boogie this time. Boogie in transition. Yes, sir. Let's pull the three and green it. Man, what I will tell you is DeMarcus Cousins' release is absolutely fire. Because, yeah, I used to use Yo. Jokic there as well, but he's so much better than Jokic as well. I used to use Carl Anthony Towns instead of this man right here, DeMarcus Cousins, but Penny's so good. Like, that's Penny's 12th point and also his 6th dunk, so you might be able to tell how we're actually getting the points by the card, but I ain't even mad about it. I ain't... That's actually a good defense. It's good defense, but Kareem can't be stopped. We're just having an absolute scoring frenzy right now, and it's continuing. It's really like first player to get a stop will probably win this game, but it's more difficult... It's more easier said than done. That's the one thing I will say. So, let's Let's make sure to try and stop him on this possession. I'm not even going to reach. We're just going to play a good D. And that's exactly what we're doing. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Let's get out to James Harden this time. That's actually good defense. Let's jump up at that. And let's pull down the board. Finally, we end up getting a stop that we need. Let's give it to Kareem. Kareem's got the speed that we absolutely love. And now let's give it to Penny. No, we need to make sure we actually score on this possession. There's no way he's stopping with James Harden. Let's go. Okay, sure. That's fine by me. It means now my bench is on the floor, and it means now we have this card right here. Gerald Wallace in the corner for... Wait, what? That was late? That... That was a lot... What? Might have been able to tell. I thought that was green. I seriously thought that was green, but now we've got this... Bre Brandon Ingram um, getting a turnover on his first possession. Not... Oh my God. This is not a good start for the bench players. If you're making these types of plays, it is not good at all. We need to stop here. We end up getting it, but he kicks it back out to Tyson Chandler and this is good defense. We need to make sure we just keep it up. Jump up at this. That's absolutely perfect. We're not going to get that rebound though. And now we need Brandon Ingram to play good defense versus Zion Williamson, which just is going to happen as we get the block. Okay. Who are we looking at here? Nik Nikola Jokic. I press the wrong icon. Oh my word. This is not good offense. Like not good offense at all. Brandon Ingram, you will... Dude, my players' icons are not right. Brandon Ingram this time. Let's pull the three and green it. Okay, there we go. We got another stop. Brandon Ingram, the ball is in your hands for a deep three. Brandon Ingram missed. Okay, that's fair enough. I, I probably messed up the release there because I haven't really used this card too much, but we do play good defense, except we give a wide open three. GG's. Now I've swapped around Jokic and Embiid now, which is good because we... Oh my, what? How is he getting strips with Devin Booker against Jason Kidd? Like, Jason Kidd, you're meant to be good at balls. Good, well, not good at balls. Good at ball handling. Sorry. Um, but he's absolutely not. He's the one giving us the turnovers right now. And Jason Kidd, that ain't what. That ain't it. That ain't it at all. We need good defense this time. Exactly what we play. And now we're looking at Embiid. Embiid, trail. Embiid, let's go into the post. Embiid, let's kick it back out to, uh, to Brandon Ingram. And now I'm looking for this fading three. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, 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 yep. We get the slam. See, it's plays like that that I'm not happy with. Like, I'm not going to deny it. That was a terrible play. But it worked out in the end. And 
Oh, why is my bench playing so badly? I needed to kick that one out. It didn't let me. And now he pulls the three, which he does miss. And we pull down the rebound with Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram, you started off badly. I'm not going to deny it, but you're playing well now. Like, yes, getting a strip turnover is not a great start on your first possession. But at least he's looking a lot better on the possessions now. Here's Jokic for the slam. Man, I have to try and at least score with this, with this Jason kid. It would be nice. And... Okay, it worked. Or at least Jason Kidd is one of the best defensive point guards. So maybe we have to check out his defense and he gets stuck on a screen there. But maybe that's a turnover. Maybe that's good defense. It absolutely is. Now we need to score. We need to score in transition this time. And I'm just going to chill. I'm going to pull it back. Going to chill with Jason Kidd. He takes his time on these plays. He kicks it to the corner to Brandon Ingram for a wide open missed three. Give me that steal, I say. Straight away after though. Brandon Ingram, you wanted to make up for it with another... Bruh. I don't know why his release was like different on that possession. It was weird. Like it was so different. And I know he's tired, but it was just so weird. How do you get stuck on that screen for a wide open three? We're now down in this game because of those missed threes and he's not missing at all. Like if my opponent's open, he's absolutely making it. But Brandon Ingram, I need you to score here. Like it is an understatement how badly I need you to score here. So let's get a pick and fade this time with Nikola Jokic. Brandon Ingram this time. Let's finish it. Let's go up and do that. I mean, the one Galaxy Opal that's really done nothing for me is this Jason Kidd. But he goes to the line this time, I'm happy. As long as we can make his free throw. Okay, it's quite quick, but at least he's got an extremely good free throw that now I know it is green. This game truly is just a scoring frenzy. Like neither of us can stop each other which is quite interesting but maybe Kobe Bryant this time or maybe DeMarcus Cousins we love Boogie we love Penny too I will say I am happy with the way that our boy Brandon Ingram played but it's quite funny with Penny because literally all I'm doing is scoring dunks with this cup I needed that. Okay, here we go. We needed to stop here. We're down by three to start the fourth quarter. And my word, we just need to play well. When I haven't played 2K for a while, all I do is reach on every single possession. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now, which is not fun. So we need to try and keep not doing that. Like I'm telling you, when I keep on reaching, it's just when you know I, I'm not playing well. I'm not playing well because I just keep on going for the risks rather than actually playing good defense. And we need a three ball this time or we need just something to go our way. Doesn't really look like it's going to happen, if I'm being honest. DeMarcus Cousins, you're that guy. You've been that guy this game. And Kobe Bryant is absolutely clamping me. But DeMarcus Cousins somehow gets the end one like that. Yeah, look, that one was straight luck. I'm not going to deny it. He makes the free throw too. Reach here. Reach. Five seconds. What? Wait, what? How? Maybe he lagged out. That must have been a lag out. Because there's no way he would have quit at 65 all. I'm not going to complain about it though. Not going to complain. As because we got that win and the iconic players play well, we now get the vault and we can see what we can get out of this. Hopefully it's something good. There are actually good players in the unlimited vault. So maybe it is and... No, it's a pack. But yes, we are now 2-0 in the championship weekend. You guys didn't see the first game because the dude just quit instantly. But I can't lie, at least all the iconic players did play extremely well. I think instead of Jason Kidd, for my actual team, I'm going to put in Lonzo Ball. And this will be the team that I actually rock with. I got to say, it's actually super nice. You know what else is nice though? When you open up one pack and in this pack, you just see the 100 overall Michael Jordan just like that. It's extremely nice when that's just able to happen to you or you get nothing at all and you end up getting a gold card. Yep, that's the way it probably should be. Anyway, now the real question is, do I recommend you guys lock in this set? Now look, it's six pink diamonds and really three of these cards are actually good. You've got Hassan Whiteside, who's actually a bit of a beast. You've also got this Danny Green, which is apparently pretty good. But finally, you've got one of the best shooting guards in the game being Franz Wagner. So if you use all three of those cards in your team and potentially want a Galaxy Opal, then I do recommend it because chances are you are going to get a pretty good card unless if you get this Jason Kidd. Literally every single other one of the Galaxy Opals is a W in my opinion. The best one being this Penny Hardaway. Then I'd say the second best being Wilt Chamberlain and probably third being DeMarcus Cousins. So I don't know, those are my thoughts. And if you have locked in for this pack, be sure to let me know what you guys get in the comment section down below. As personally compared to like this Alipia pack, the iconic one is better than this because in this one you had Blake Griffin, also John Wall, Ray Allen, who are players you really probably wouldn't want. And it's kind of the same for this Wild West pack as well. There was only two players you badly wanted this one being Kobe Bryant and David Robinson. The rest were extremely mid. So that's why I'm saying this iconic one actually isn't too bad. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button subscribe and you follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and that's pretty much it i'll catch you guys in my next video bye